In this lesson, we will discuss how to calculate concentration or molarity after a solution has been diluted. Please have your note sheet and calculator handy. When we add more solvent to an existing solution, that makes the solution more dilute or less concentrated. So in order to calculate the concentration or the molarity of this new dilute solution, we're going to look at the original solution and the new solution. So for the original solution, we have the molarity equal to the moles of solute over the volume of the solution in liters. I'm using little ones here to distinguish the original solution from the new dilute solution. That's represented here. The molarity of the new solution is equal to the moles of solute over the volume of the solution in liters. When you add solvent, the volume of the solution will change, and therefore the molarity or the concentration will change. However, what doesn't change is the moles of solute. And so I've arranged each equation and solved for the moles of solute. Since the moles of solute in each solution is the same, the molarity of the original solution times its volume is equal to the molarity of the new solution times its volume. Let's use this new equation in a couple of sample calculations. We have 5 liters of a 1.25 molar solution of nitric acid. We want to know what the concentration or the molarity of the solution would be if 1 liter of water was added. We have an existing solution that we're going to add more water to or more solvent to. So that's how we know we're going to use this equation. So for the molarity of the original solution, we're going to put in 1.25 molar. The volume of the original solution is 5 liters. For the new solution, we're going to solve for the concentration or the molarity. And now for the volume of the new solution, it is not 1 liter, it is not 5 liters, it is a combination of those two volumes. Solving for the concentration of the new solution, we get 1.04 molar. This makes sense as an answer because it is a lower molarity than what we started with originally, 1.25 molar, and this is due to the excess solvent, water, being added to the solution. In the next example, we have 100 milliliters of a 5 molar solution of magnesium nitrate. This is too concentrated. We need a 3 molar solution. How much water would you have to add? Again, we know we need to use this equation because we have an existing solution and we're talking about diluting it down by adding water to it to make it a 3 molar solution. So for the molarity of the original solution, we have 5 molar. and the volume is 100 milliliters. It's actually okay to leave your volume in milliliters for this calculation. We know we want to make a 3 molar solution. And that means we're going to solve for the volume of our new solution. The answer is 167 milliliters. However, this is not our final answer. This volume is the volume of the original solution that was there plus the water that was added. If we want to know how much water only we need to add, we need to subtract off the original volume. That leaves us with 67 milliliters of water. That's our final answer. I would like you to try this last problem on your own and we will go through the answer in class.